Now we are at 1D number 3, number 6. And number 12. This is my neighbor, Lisa. Hello. Okay, Lisa, where are you from? So my mother is from Taiwan, from Tainan, and my dad is from Hong Kong, but I grew up in Bangkok. So I moved to Bangkok with my family when I was three years old. Mm. Okay, and why did you come to Taiwan? Why did I come to Taiwan? Initially, uh, I had to come back because I was studying in Denmark. So after Bangkok, I moved to Denmark to study. And when I was in Denmark, um, I took out a loan to go to school, and it was really expensive. And after I graduated, I had to pay back my tuition fee as soon as possible. And the only way to do that was to come back to Tainan, because Tainan is very cheap. I have family here, and work super, super hard for a year and a half uh, to pay off my student loan in Denmark. And then now I teach aerial yoga. So while, while I was in Thailand, I've been here for five years. And uh, during the course of five years, I, I got into aerial yoga, which is like yoga, but with a hammock. So I started teaching that. I've been teaching that for about two years now. Ooh. And what's the difference between Thailand and Taiwan? The difference is first, the weather. Um, Taiwan has four seasons. But Bangkok has only one. It has it's summer all year round. So it's summer, 365 days, every single day is hot. And maybe sometimes in December, sometimes it will drop to maybe 24 degrees Celsius, which is considered very cold. So in Bangkok, it's 24. Like everyone is wearing a jacket. Everyone's wearing a scarf. So here. Uh, with the weather changes, for me, anything below 25 is cold. That's why, like, now it's kind of, it's, it's, you know, it's kind of hot, but I'm wearing a jacket because, you know, I'm not really used to this weather. So that's the first. And the second one is culture. Bangkok is a very big international city. So in Bangkok, you can meet people from all over the world. And so it's very international. And you hear many languages everywhere you go. Um, but here in Tainan, um, a lot of people are from Taiwan and you get English teachers and a lot of expats and mostly they're from America or Canada or, or England. The town is just in English. Sorry? They, they don't often speak English. Yeah, in Tainan, I've noticed. Tainan, um, People don't really speak a lot of English, and so when you go out to order food, like when I first got to uh, Tainan, it was really hard because people speak really fast. And when I went into 7-Eleven, it was really difficult because you know they, they talk really fast, and when you want to pay, sometimes they have promotion, right? They're like, oh, there's like you know, buy two get one free, and I don't, I didn't understand anything they were saying. And when you order in Tainan, the, the street food, right? There's no pictures, there's just words. And I didn't really know how to read. And so I would stand there, I would look at the uh, menu, and I would be like, I, can you please translate? But because I look Asian, they're like, uh, the menu's right there. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't, can you explain? And it's just, yeah. So it was difficult at first. And some of the vendors speak in Taiwanese. Taiwanese, oh yeah. Yeah, and then that was, yeah, that was really difficult for me as well. Yeah. yeah. And... Can you introduce Thailand? Yes, so Thailand is a tropical country um, with lovely beaches, especially down south. Um, the shape of Thailand looks like an elephant. <laughs> but it's, like, yeah, it does. It looks like an elephant and um, Thailand's culture, Thailand has a very friendly culture. Everyone is always smiling. That's why Thailand is known for the land of smiles because everyone is super friendly. Um, they love to sing, they love to dance, and they have a very relaxed, slow-paced life. Yeah. And can you introduce the Thai food? Thai food? And your favorite. My favorite Thai food. Okay, so in Thailand, um, Thailand is known for street food, which means really good uh, street food. Like, you have many vendors, 
that just stay on the side of the roads because Thailand is so busy and people go to work, they you know they come out of work and they just want to grab things to eat. And on this uh, in the street, there's so many little stalls and you know vendors, and they sell sticky rice. Um, sticky rice. It's like rice, but it's hard. It's like sticky and hard. And you and to go with sticky rice, there is a papaya salad. It's papaya, but it's not ripe. It's green, so it's a little bit hard and a little bit crunchy, and it's spicy. And they put peanuts and fish sauce. So there's papaya salad, there's sticky rice, and there's grilled meat, like grilled chicken. And uh, my favorite, I love sticky rice, I love grilled chicken with my sticky rice, but I also really like noodles, like soup noodles and dry noodles, street soup noodles. Those are the best. Can you teach us some Thai? Yes. So to say hello in Thai, okay, we why. Why means we say, we, we put our hands together, right? And we say, so what? So when you're talking to somebody who's older than you, like your grandma or your mom, uh, or somebody who who's a senior, when you say so what dika, your hand goes like on your head, yeah, like so what dika, which means like you you respect them a lot, right? Mm -hmm. But if it's someone like you know same age or just your friends, you know, you just you know you just put it down here, just so what dika, oh, <laughs> yeah, like that. And um, so by the my means how are you? So by the my yeah. <laughs> yes, which means how are you? And my name is is Pom Che. Pom Che. Yeah, so Pom Che Lisa means my name is Lisa. Pom Che Lisa. Yeah. Pom Che. Pom means like me. Pom I. I. Yeah. Pom. Pom Che Lisa is name. Yeah, chu, yeah. Oh, chu. Oh, my God. Yeah, 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 good, like that. Yeah. So, thank you for sharing your experience to us. Thank you. And thank you for your watching. Mm -hmm. So, that's it.